quarter against James. The bright lights and tall buildings of downtown Los Angeles setting the scene for us here tonight. It's time for the NBA live on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Denver Nuggets against the Los Angeles Lakers here in Staples Center. Hello, everyone. With Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from our Hall of Famer on the sideline, David Aldridge. Now the starting group for the Denver Nuggets. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. And it's Grant in at the small forward position. And for the Lakers, Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Marky Morris is out there with Davis, and it's Caldwell Pope in at the point. Tip off goes to the Lakers. Outside, Davis. And the pass to Morris. He can't hit that time. Good work defensively by Millsap. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. A foul right off the bat. You hate to pick up your first one so quick. Now here's Murray. Here's Jokic. Back to Murray. Takes the three. That shot off the mark. Floats it up for Davis. Up high to stop the alley oh, The timing on the plate is exceptional. Davis arrives right on cue. Slam it in. And Murray's got the ball here for the Denver Nuggets. At the top of the key, Millsap. About one minute into the first quarter. Shot clock at six. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. Uh, and one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. James kicks to Davis. Now LeBron. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's the three. He can't get it to go. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, I caught up with Coach Mike Malone. He made no secret of the fact that LeBron will be there focused defensively. He said we have to limit his opportunities at the rim. Eyes have got to be ready to react, help, and cut off his drives. Sounds like LeBron can expect plenty of double teams as well. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. Oh, the defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact with authority. Murray with it. Harris outside. Here's Jokic. And Davis sends it back. And he gets it back. Lakers have gone two for four from the field so far today. James kicks to Caldwell Pope. Back to James. Right side Davis. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Shoots over Grant. And James gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Oh, he's just super efficient when he's close to the rim. James is like a master at knowing which way to take. Pass to Jokic. And here is Murray. He's now one for two with that bucket. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. And as he's aged in the league, Anthony Davis's offense has changed. It now much more of a face-up player. Oh, and that's where his game's been headed. His shot has improved, and he can step out to the three facing up and let him use his burst. Let's him maximize what he can do. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Denver. Trailing by two. Now the pass to Jokic. No 
Millsaps against Morris. And that one's good. Millsaps. And with long arms and great strength, Millsap can make plays bigger than his actual size. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So looking back on it, no, but boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us. Went back out on the floor. Doc nudges me and said he'll be great in TV Some We saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the game. And they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. Here's Morris. Passes it to Porter. McKee with the block. Oh, this is McKee's role. He's out here to defend and to stifle shooters whenever he can. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Covered by Rondo. Martin. Tries to keep it alive. But they'll get another chance. Craig passes to Barton. Morris looking over the floor. Just five on the clock. Uh, and when Kuzma is motivated on defense, it helps big time. He needs to be more consistent on this end. Morris against Rondo. Popped up there for Howard. Humley with the steal. And now the Nuggets. Fast break. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Caruso, the pass to Howard. And Howard with the stuff. You allow Howard to get in close. He's going to punch that ticket. 107 left here in the first quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Porter with it. And McGee picks him up defensively. Porter, no luck. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 12-4 run. Caruso kicks the run. 41 seconds left in the first. Six on the shot clock. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Barton against Kuzma. A floater, and it's laid in by Barton. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Rondo looking around. Out to Kuzma. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. He's one of the top guys when it comes to those catch-and-shoot jumpers. Who's where he loves getting those shots off in a split second. Buried from outside. But I don't know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? The, re the replay leaving little doubt. And the 
call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor, but replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Lakers lead by five. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. We recently checked in with Jamal Murray, who discussed the team's approach to each game. The mentality of how we play, how we move the ball, um, how unselfish we are, you know, next pass mentality, uh, next man up mentality, um, and just keep each other uh, know, alive. You know, we got to, you know, like I said, bring that energy, bring that, bring that uh, enthusiasm that we always have. Greg sounds like something a coach would say. <laughs> it's probably something his coach has said time and time again. But Murray's really matured into a reliable, sometimes spectacular performer for this team. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And take a look at Los Angeles' performance here. What have they been doing or not doing? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Showing no mercy right now. The shooters look frustrated seeing so many of their shots get stifled. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So on the floor for Denver. Rumley out there with Porter. Then there's Monte Morris. Then it's Will Barton, and it's Craig in at the two-guard position. Now here's Bradley. Back to Kuzma. Another shot. Howard trying to free himself up. Kuzma can't get it to go. The Nuggets trail by five. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. And the powerful one-handed slam. That those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And, and rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? Now, here's Howard. Plumley with some nice D. <laughs> Nothing less than that kind of defense will cut it against them. That's just great work inside. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for Howard. Morris comes in for JaVale McGee. James checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Alex Caruso. And Dwight Howard, you know, not the same 35-minute-a-game player he once was, but I tell you what, when he's on the floor, he can still be every bit as effective. Yeah, Howard can bully teams that go small against him. I mean, he provides a big body to deal with other strong centers. I mean, he also gives the team some great flexibility with how they match up. Morris passes to LeBron. Stolen by Grant. One on one here. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Caldwell Pope. And the combination of athleticism and defense Grant brings is superb. A guy who you can depend on to compete. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now. And in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start, start talking about having a guard the three-point line. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. James dishes to Caldwell Pope. Harris against LeBron. Gets hauled in by Harris. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive. Now here is Harris. Outside for Millsap. Lock at six. Fires from the corner. Harris no good. 
Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. James finds Green. And they double up James. Davis up top. The shot. Denver grabs the miss. He's as surprised as anyone with that miss. When he's left alone like that, you can usually count. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And John Rondo's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's Millsap. The Nuggets with another miss. Make an argument for the kickout pass there. D had him too bottled up. Davis, good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got three assists in the game. The Nuggets trail by three. Murray left side. Plays it up off the glass. Murray's got four this quarter. And the confidence from Murray, just so efficient from the interior. LeBron kicks to Green, pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. Millsap with the steal. And pushing it up, here's Denver. Harris with the ball. No good from Grant. For Los Angeles, they've gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Oh, the power on that prudent! How fierce James is a ferocious dunk art. 135 left in the first half. Grant, right side. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. James, and the basket is good. Now it's a five-point Laker lead. If you're the defense, what can you do? James is too strong, too focused on these finishes. Grant the pass to Murray. 102 left to play in the first half. And Jokic throws it down. I mean, he knows exactly what he's doing out there. Fakes the shot and zips the pass over for a wide open look. Back to James. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. LeBron's got 10. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Murray kicks to Jokic. Back to Murray. That shot missing. Great tee that time from Rondo. Pass to Davis. To the paint. Outside for Rondo. Nineteen seconds left in the first half of the game. And there's the pass to Millsap. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. LeBron's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Just three on the clock. It's good. LeBron's got ten points now just in this quarter. I mean, this could end up being a big night for him. I mean, if this quarter is any indication. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Los Angeles on top as they end the second quarter on a 12-4 run. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, Dwight. What are you seeing from your opponent tonight? They're a tough team. You know, they play hard, they play together, they move the ball, and uh, they, they know how to play uh, within the offense, you know. And uh, we've been doing a better job on the defensive end, and I think tonight we came out with the right mentality. Just got to keep it up. Dwight, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. If your name is Shaquille O'Neal, raise your hand, please. I guess Shaq's not here today. If your name is Kenny the Jet Smith, raise your hand, please. Here, and I'm Kevin Harlan. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 22 points, two rebounds, and one assist. 
And of course, every team is scheming ways to slow down AD. Shaq, he seems too versatile almost to, to stop. Yeah, he's dominant in all aspects of the game. Both teams of the floor. Well, he's a Hall of Famer uh, if he stays out. But uh, I don't think he cares about his individual accolades. What do you got? I think he just wants rings. Yeah, I believe so too. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. It's been a clinic out there by James. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Yeah, working the ball, getting clean, quality looks. I mean, just efficient basketball through and through. The Nuggets trail by seven. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Davis is out there with Morris, and it's Caldwell Pope in at the one spot. That's the Laker five. Millsaps against Green, 16 feet away. Millsap misses. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Davis, and that one is good. Davis has got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, it feels like they're just one step ahead right now, looking to build out their advantage even further. Marie finds Jokic. Here's Grant. Murray outside. Six to shoot. Here's Jokic. Can't hit that one. Great tee that time from Davis. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Oh, embracing contact on the way up. I mean, Davis is terrific at keeping his composure on these challenging finishes. Jokic passes to Harris. From 11 feet away, and Davis sends it back. Outstanding at using his wingspan to erase shots. Here's James. And Davis now, top of the key. With the fadeaway. And it's good off the bat. Time out, time out. In. And the Lakers lead by 13. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. When you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts mm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. For Denver, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And the ceiling so high for Porter. A, a versatile, effective forward who does so many things well. Alex Caruso is checked in for the Lakers. Passes to Davis. Back to Bradley. Pass to Caruso. Here's Kuzma, guarded by Porter. Kuzma can't get it to go. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. It's a 13-point game. When Kuzma first entered the league, the Lakers were a rebuilding team. Now, Greg, he's one of the more experienced pieces on this team. And, and Kuzma's made the most of it, switching to a learning role. Tries to absorb as much as he can from the vets. And he does everything he can to pick their brain and improve on those little things in terms of championship caliber basketball. Porter with it. Now guarded by Brad. Morris outside. Pass.
pass to Jokic. Back to Morris. Murray outside. The tray. Caruso grabs the miss. Los Angeles leading by 11. The pass to Howard. And Howard with the stuff. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. And Porter, here we go. Up and in on the layup. But when Porter is attacking, the defense is in trouble. I have to respect his ability to put it on the floor. Here's Caruso. And it's sent back by Plumley. For three, Murray. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Even when the D is breathing down his neck, Murray gets it done. Just an amazing shooter with an impressive stroke. And the Lakers call time here. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. JaVale McGee's checked in for Los Angeles. Rondo comes in for Bradley. Will Barton, he's checked in for Denver. Torrey Craig comes in for Jamal Murray. Inside. And Kuzma with the basket on the assist by Rondo. Kuzma's got five. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Right side, Porter. Over Howard. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down now to just eight on the basket from Porter. And shots like this are why people are just so high on Porter. Has such a quick release on that jumper. He lobs it up. And the slam dunk by McGee. You see why McGee's teammates lob it up his way? Because they know he can go up and get it. Now, here is Morris. And again, it's Denver. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Kuzma outside. Foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. I uh, love the fire Kuzma plays with, especially inside where he dares defenders to foul. Los Angeles shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. <laughs> First free throw is good. And for being the 27th pick in the 2017 draft, uh, Kuzma has made his mark early, already surpassed expectations. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Morris has checked in for JaVale McGee. James comes in for Dwight Howard. Danny Green, he's checked in for Alex Caruso. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Rajon Rondo. Caldwell Pope against Porter. Tipped away. Here's the break. Unable to get that one. Good work defensively by Morris. Over LeBron. And that one released in time, but no good. Oh, you got to give it up for James. He's a rugged, tough-nosed defender. Thanks mainly to his size, his speed, strength, and IQ. And so it's Los Angeles with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. 
and with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. And Denver will start the fourth quarter with Jeremy Grant is out there with Paul Milson. Then there's Harris. Then it's Will Barton, and it's Craig in at the three spot. The Nuggets trail by 10. Here's Harris. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assists. And Millsap is a team player. Someone who is very willing to make the right pass to an open team. Caldwell Pope against Barton. Morris dishes to James. No good on the triple. And it's Millsap with the ball for Denver. Harris passes to Grant. It's good. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Los Angeles making a switch here. Davis is checked in. And Denver also making a switch. Jokic is checked in. Lakers leading by five. James outside. They get the rebound. Barton against Caldwell Pope. Rocket six. Goes up again. And that one hits back iron. He just can't find the touch this quarter. He's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. Fires from deep. Grant. That's good. Grant's got six points in the quarter. And when you thought this fourth quarter was simply a formality, all of a sudden the offense picks up, and now we have a game. Here's Davis. No good, unable to end this run. Denver's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Barton outside. No good. That would have tied it. He's got to do a better job making the deep pay for them. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Oh, come on. We all know LeBron is used to being fouled. It's just amazing how he keeps his focus. Such a powerful player. Maurice checked in for Denver. Free throw good, LeBron. The agility, the instincts, the power. I mean, James remains a dominant figure on both ends. Passes it to Jokic. Millsap in the corner. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got his fourth assist in this one. The Lakers in the lead. Here's James. to Caldwell Pope. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Down to five on the shot clock. Morris, no good. Denver's gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Murray against Caldwell Pope. Murray, the pass to Millsap. Back to Murray. Over Caldwell Pope. Jokic kicks to Millsap. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Millsap's got it all tied up now for Denver. They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. Here's Davis. Tries again. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Paul Millsap picks one up. Uh, what separates AD from most big men, he's got every tool at his disposal, and he knows exactly when to use them. First one falls. 
Yeah, the coaching staff values the effect Davis has on the team. I mean, he's a strong enough player that the rest of the guys can really rally around. Porter's checked in for Denver. And both free throws good for Davis. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Pass to Jokic. He kicks to Porter. To the inside. Harris's shot is good. Nice play call there. Down the stretch, getting him the open look. Yeah, and when the game is tight, you can see why they go to him. And, and, and by the way, where was the defense on that play? Loads it up for Davis. It's deflected. Jokic with the steal. Harris finds Millsap. Morris against Porter. To the middle. Here's Jokic. It's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. And the Nuggets lead by two. And not just a scorer, but, but a distributor as well. Porter's court awareness is really impressive. Caldwell Pope against Murray. James left side. Shot clock at six. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Good on the triple. In key moments like this, you need guys like Caldwell Pope to come through with a huge bucket. Just tremendous Pope. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're trailing by one. There's 138 left to play here in the fourth. Let's present our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mike Malone had some words for his team during the break. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? Here's Murray. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. There's Green with the three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Porter's got four rebounds in this game. Murray with it. Guarded now by Morris. Porter dishes to Murray. Millsap left side. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Millsap's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Nuggets. Millsap going for the W. He's looking focused. James in the post, guarded by Porter, goes back up, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. So the first one drops, and that narrows the gap to one. He's perfect from the line this time. And you really can't say enough about his composure in the big moments, as cool as they come. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's the pass to Jokic. No good that time. And the Lakers going the other way now. James misses. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Nuggets. Murray, the pass to Porter. Back to Murray. No 
Bills up trying to get open. It's in! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They know they can count on him to make crucial shots. And the Lakers call time here. They trail by two. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What do you think, guys? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. Or they could take the lead if they play for the three. Interesting decision. Fifteen seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Quarter against James. And it's sent back by Millsap. And Millsap with great hands and the anticipation there to block the shot. And so it's Denver who comes out on top here. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. A really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Mason, your game has expanded some, and what has that process been like? You know, you just learn something new every game. You have to study your opponent and see what's going to be open, but... Um, some of the constants have to be rebounding defense, bringing energy in, and that's always going to get you a little bit. Well, you had the whole package tonight, Mason. Thanks. Kevin, back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. See you next time.